Hello there and welcome back to another one of my videos. In this video we're going to be choosing the sprockets for our 100 mile an hour Lambretta TS1 engine and we're going to do a little tutorial in the Tony Cassidy gearbox visualizer. So let's get stuck into it. Right, uh, so I didn't have to do any shimming on the gearbox because this is all what came out has gone back because there was no wear there at all really. So uh, this is ready now for choosing our gearing for our 100 mile an hour TS1. So uh, let's go ahead and look at our uh, Cassidy gear table and see what we're going to pick. Okay. Here we are with the Tony Cassidy gearbox visualizer for Lambretta. So we open up this page, we uh, download the version there. You will need Microsoft Excel for this. Then we've got that down in the corner here. So we open the page up, opening, Microsoft is going to start to open for us. How's that? And it brings you to this page. Now the first thing you've got to do is enable editing click on that it sort of flickers a bit but don't worry nothing's happened and now we want we're, we're not doing uh, small frames we're doing large frames and three wheelers so we'll have to open this one up and then you get this this is the main page where you can do all your calculations for your gearing and it simulates each gear step by step power band over rev and everything but you need to set your parameters first. So we'll go up to the top. First of all, we go up to the top right hand corner and we set up our maximum RPM, which is gonna be 10,000 RPM. The next one is select the RPM where the power is trailing off. So we've got uh, at the moment 6.8, now we want it much higher. So our power is going to trail off at about 9.5 or 9.6, there you go, 9.006. The next parameter we're going to change is select RPM where the motor is making uh, its maximum power. So we'll go up and we're going to be making max power at about 9,000. Right, I need to scroll along a little bit and now select when the power's coming in. So that's going to be about five and a half thousand with the exhaust that I've picked. There we go. So the next thing we're going to select is our gearbox. So we click this button here and this page will open and we will select our Cyclone 5. And that should now, oh no, it hasn't opened up. Something wrong? It looks like I've got everything correct. But there's something hiding here. There's no tooth. Ah, now, there you go. For some reason, there was no uh, tooth to, for uh, front sprocket selected, which is a bit strange, but never mind. Maybe I, I, I don't know what, I, I might have clicked on it somehow. Anyway, so 16 tooth, as you can see. It's, the power's going to be trailing off at about eight, eight, 84 mile an hour, so that's way too low. So I've got a 46 rear, so that I've changed that to 47 because that's what I'm running. Uh, and then we'll go up 17. Let's have a look, so we go up. So we can see where we are. So at 9,000, where my max power is, is 86 mile an hour, not enough. Up again, 18, tooth sprocket, 9,000, 90 mile an hour, 19, tooth sprocket, 9,000, 96 mile an hour. We need to go a bit higher, 20, tooth sprocket. So let's have a look where we are now. 9,000, 100 mile an hour. Right. But what I forgot to do is change my tyre because I'm running 190.10. So we'll select 
and all of a sudden that changes our gearing again. So now at 9,000 we're at 102 mile an hour. Now that's more like it. So 102 and fully revving out. This is the gearbox we're going to pick. So if we rev out to the max about 9,500, we'll be doing 106 mile an hour. So I think this is uh, about right. So you can do lots of things with this. You can do custom gearboxes. Uh, you can compare this gearbox with the gearbox that you can make on the other side so you can make two comparisons. It's a very, very good piece of kit. So it even tells you what chain you're going to have to use with these gearing. 83 link, which is what I've got then, which is what I'm going to fit. Right, so our choice is going to be, we're going, we've got, we've got 47 clutch bell on our, uh, on our uh, BGM six plate. So we're going to go for the 20 tooth, which we looked at in the Cassidy table, which is going to give us about the right gearing. It's, the problem with these five speed boxes is that because they're, so, they're, they're quite a low ratio gearbox, even though they've got five gears. So you need a 20 tooth to get <laughs> to get around, a, around 200 mile an hour. I mean, um, it's quite handy if you want to use these five speeds on short tracks because you can get them right down. But uh, if you're trying to get them for high speed, you literally run out of sprockets for it. Uh, you can't get a sprocket big enough. So that's probably why people, not many people choose this uh, five speed for top speed. But I'm going with it because I like the close ratio. Now I've got to try and find a chain. So we'll have a look, so look through this lot and see what we can find. Uh -huh. I'm not going to bother me counting teeth. I'm just going to look for the longest one I got. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, that's the longest one so far. Systematically through me chains. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Overtaking. Longer. Oh, that one's not complete. That's. Okay, let's see how close the fit we've got. It's looking pretty good. I've just got to get this to line up at the front here. There you go. Pull down chain tensioner, 20 tooth sprocket. Bob's your uncle, we're in business. So we're running with a five speed at the moment, obviously, because I want to be able to kickstart the bike and uh, drive around normal like a normal person rather than slipping it in third gear everywhere and bump starting it. So uh, that's why we've gone for this gearbox at the moment. We're going to give it a run. Anyway, once we've done some kilometers on this, we're going to give it a good blast and see if we can maybe do 100 mile an hour with all five gears in there. But if we can't, then we'll be doing other stuff, other modifications as we go along, taking the gears out, maybe other stuff to try and break that 100 mile an hour. Right. Let's talk this down. Okay, it's tight. Now we can uh, put our front sprocket on. So, spring, I've got this uh, top top hat here marked up, so it lines up with the uh, with the teeth. Just makes it a little easier to do. So we can see where our teeth are, and we can line up the top hat. It just makes it easier to tighten down. Okay, it's in line now. Okay, 
that's that done. Right, that's our chain adjusted and tensioned. Doing it too tight because that's going to create stresses on my bearings and on the chain. It needs to have a little bit of free play. So, yeah, your BGM six plate. It's nice to get hold of this little tool for fitting the springs. That goes in the middle. Then you've got these two nice bolts that come with the uh, this, with your six plate clutch. That will screw into the uh, into the spider here. This allows you to load all your springs up. Okay, right, we're gonna get our clutch together. I've loaded up the springs, I've got the special tool in there and the two bolts. Now I've found the best way to do it is don't put the plates on when you're putting this on and trying to do it all together. It really gets uh, you in a bit of a tangle. The best way is to just put it on like this. So you've got two threaded holes in the bottom of here and the two threaded bolts line up with it. So we just drop that on and hopefully none of our springs fall off. Finally. Okay. Now I didn't make that look easy, did I? So we'll just check all our springs are still in position, which they are. And now we can tighten this down. Right, we can just drop all our plates in now. Stick our circlip in, make sure it's over a tooth where the joint is. Firmly secured. And that's it, job done, clutch is in. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and ding the little bell, otherwise you won't get all my notifications. And if you want to donate anything, there's a little link down below.